AI Sky Replacement is brand new in Luminar 4. And, you know, when I first heard about it, I was a little skeptical. And it's replacing skies is not always what I do in my photos, but I do recognize that there are times where uh, maybe you're shooting for a client or you're shooting for stock, uh, or if you just simply want a better looking sky in your picture for whatever reason. So I figure this would be a good way to, to show this off. Uh, when you click this sky selection, you have an, any number of, of skies that are preloaded into the program, but you can also upload your own skies. So if you have a, a, a file of sky images that you've shot, you can do that. But let's try, um, we'll just try blue sky number one. So you hit that and, and there you go. So it brings that up. Now the first thing I see uh, is it actually does a pretty good job of blending the horizon and knowing where to put the sky. And that's where the artificial intelligence comes in. Uh, but there's a couple things wrong with this. Uh, number one, we have the background and in, in out of focus here. So therefore the skies wouldn't be in focus. The cloud wouldn't be in focus. That just looks wrong. So when you look down here, you have sky defocus. You just grab that slider and bring it up and you can suddenly match the look of your, uh, look of the rest of the scene. So that actually works really well. Adobe's trying to get me update things. It doesn't know that I'm doing a Luminar video. Uh, how disappointed it would be, you can imagine that. Uh, so here's, um, look at some of these other skies real quickly. Got some cirrus clouds and that's matched the defocus that I've done. Um, we've got dramatic skies. Here's uh, sunsets. So uh, here's a good example to, to show some of these other tools. Uh, we've got horizon blending. So you can see that that took care of some of those artifacts down here at the edges. Uh, I can close gaps here. That helps as well. Um, horizon position. So you can raise or lower the horizon for different effects or to get rid of some artifacts, uh, depending on what look you're going for. So we'll just raise it up like that and we'll pretend that we have a little bit of cloud band right there. And that looks pretty natural. Uh, this relight scene is, is a really cool tool for this, uh, for this effect because what that does is uh, it matches the rest of the scene to the sky that you've chosen. So clearly I've got a, a sunset scene, uh, but that's not reflected in my model, so that doesn't look quite right. So if I drag the relight scene slider, that adds some more warmth to the front of the, uh, to the foreground. And if I were to go to a different dramatic sunset, uh, you can see that the, the sky and the, the relight scene is matched to that sky. So let's do, let's, uh, let's close that. So you can see that uh, if you need to edit the mask, uh, you can do that. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, that's the last thing I want to do when I'm editing photos is play with masks and stuff like that. So anyway, um, a couple other tools, landscape exposure, you can brighten the foreground, you can increase contrast in the landscape. So when you combine this with you know, say an AI enhanced tool. And then maybe we'll go to, uh, maybe we'll go to the landscape enhancer and hit a little golden hour. So there we go. I've uh, just warmed the scene up a little bit. I've got a replaced sky and that actually looks pretty good. So I'm, I'm pleased with my results. Nice job, Luminar 4.